This is Angel L.G. Santos Lati Memorial Park. Angel Santos was an activist and a founding member of the Chamorro Nation. He identified as Chamorro, that is, a person whose ancestry included people who were present on the island when Magellan landed on the island on his journey around the world on March 6, 1521. The visit to the island by Magellan led to the claiming of the island by, for Spain by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi on January 26, 1565. Colonization of the island by the Spanish began on June 15, 1668 with the arrival of Diego Luis Sand Vitores. Spanish Chamorro Wars began in 1670, ultimately reducing the Chamorro population to around 5,000 people, from estimates somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 people. Spanish occupation of this island was from 1670 to 1898. The small indigenous population following the Spanish Chamorro Wars and intermarriage resulted in a multi-ethnic mix of peoples on the island. Angel Santos is an example of this. Santos indicates Spanish heritage on his father's side, and the LG, El Leon Guerrero, indicates Spanish heritage on his mother's side as well. His identification as Chamorro then is complicated, as it is for many who identify this way. Many who identify as Chamorro only consider their pre-contact ancestors when making this identification effectively erasing their Spanish or other sources of heritage. Others emph emphasize their Spanish heritage, effectively erasing their pre-contact heritage. And still others identify with both sets of ancestors. It's complicated. Coming to terms with ancestry that includes both colonizers and colonized. Complicating things further was the Treaty of Paris, 1898. The agreement ended the Spanish-American War and gave the Spanish colony of Guam to the United States, among other Spanish possessions given to the United States. This created an enormous cultural shift with a dictatorial government based on military rule under the auspices of the U.S. Navy. Then, in December 1941, the Japanese began a traumatic occupation of the island. This occupation ended in July 1944 when U.S. forces reoccupied the island. The reoccupation of the island by U.S. forces led to an increased presence of military forces which involved taking land from original owners. Some of this land was simply taken. Some was given with the understanding that it would be returned when no longer needed, and some was bought from the owners. The U.S. military has not been particularly kind to the land. There are two identified Superfund sites, one on Anderson Air Force Base and one at the Aerodot Dump. A dump site at the Southern Navy Base has leached PCBs into the water from Agate to Marizzo. Angel Santos found hazardous chemicals in barrels on his uncle's land in Mongmong. Land takings, hazardous waste dump in the environment, refusal to return excess lands to the original owners, destruction of historical sites, and destruction of habitats for native species are all factors in people like Angel Santos becoming activists. Angel Santos worked to correct problems he saw as threats to the island. He was able to motivate others and work both inside and outside the system to create change. While I didn't agree with him on a lot of issues, I voted for him each time he ran as a senator because I thought it was important that his voice be heard.